comments are now threaded in Excel for Office 365 and allow you to have discussions with other Office 365 users about the data. The old style comments are now called notes and these are for making notes or annotations about the data. Let's have a look. You'll find comments and notes on the review tab of the ribbon. We've got a large section for comments and the legacy style notes are available in the drop down. To insert a comment, select the cell that you want the comment, right click, new comment, or for a new note, choose new note. I'll show you the new comments first. I simply type in my comment and to enter it, I can click the green send icon or I can hold down control and press enter. You can see now it's timestamped when I entered this comment. I can click on edit to make some changes and press save or control enter to complete it again. I can at mention people so I can draw their attention to that comment and my colleagues can then reply. If I want to delete the comment, I can click the ellipsis. Now mine is broken at the moment. I'm on a preview version of Excel and it's obviously got a bug, but this is the delete comment button. The other way to delete the comment is to right click and choose delete comment. Now you can't view all comments on the page like you could with the old style comment, but you can click show comments. This brings up the task pane for comments and I can click on a comment and it will take me to the cell that contains that comment. If I have lots of comments and I'll have a scroll bar here to allow me to scroll through them. I can also edit and delete comments in the task pane. Select it, click edit, make your changes and press save or reply to the comment. Now if you typically use comments to store shapes, objects, formatted text and images, then you'll be disappointed to find that threaded comments don't support those features. However, the old style notes do. So let's take a look at them. Now, if you don't have Office 365, you're only going to have access to the old style notes. To insert a note, right click, new note, testing, and to complete inserting the note, all I need to do is click off the cell. If I want to edit the note, I can right click, edit note. Now that it's active, I can move it around Say I want to move it away from the numbers. I can resize it using the pull handles. And if I want to delete it, with it selected like that, I can press delete, or I can right click a cell containing the note and click delete. I can also turn on show or hide notes. So at the moment, now they're showing. If I want to hide them, go back and toggle it back off. You can also set notes to show or hide via the note dropdown. And if I have multiple notes on my worksheet, I can show all notes. Obviously I only have one, so let's pop another one in here. We'll just call it test and click off. You can see it's visible. I want to move this note out of the way. I can edit it and then move it aside, but they stay visible on the worksheet. Unlike comments, you don't have an option to have them hover above the worksheet like you do with notes. Now you can convert your notes to comments by the review tab and then notes, convert to comments. Be careful though, because this will remove any shapes, objects, formatted text and images that you have embedded in those notes and you can't undo that. I can also print notes. So we go into our page setup. In the sheet, we've got this option here for comments. Comments can only be printed at the end of the sheet, whereas notes can be printed as displayed on the sheet. That's as you see them here or at the end of the sheet. If we go into print review, you'll see on the last page, we've got our series of notes. Now, older versions of Excel don't support threaded comments. Instead, you'll see a copy of the comment unthreaded in plain text in a note like you see here. If you edit a threaded comment outside of Office 365, then when the file is reopened in a version of Excel that supports threaded comments, it's going to remove your edits. So if you'd like to use the threaded comments, but you don't have a version of Excel that supports them, then you can save the file on OneDrive or SharePoint and open the file in your web browser. This will enable you to see threaded comments and edit them. Whereas if you need your file to remain compatible with older versions of Excel, and you need others to be able to edit the comments, then you should stick with the notes.
Okay, that wraps up the new threaded comments and notes. Let's move on.